for it and what that does is when you make the cut off first cut it off you have an exact spot where the blade is going to cut so there's no there's less alignment needed I can align my piece right to my wood right to the edge of this this piece here on my miter I just move it up do a quick sight slightly here. It also prevents tear out, it's the major thing for it. Uh, I just want to check here, make sure this is square to the blade. I haven't checked this in a while. So all I do is just take a square from the miter and put it against the blade. Just make sure you're not push, putting it against any teeth of the blade and it should be flat against the blade the entire way up. So we're looking good at 90 degrees. This edge lined up with this edge, and these were 90 degrees. Uh, I could make the second cut without having to stop. I, all I did was have to line up the line, and I got a nice clean cut. There's two of my legs at 20 inches. out here, got to keep an eye on them. They wander sometimes. And that's four legs at 20 inches. Hershey, come on. Here. Her. Latch up. And the back corner will match up. Just quickly, I want to see what the end height will be. And we're looking at about 19 inches. So I'm going to draw a line. Again, it does not matter about precision of angle, all you need to do is keep a consistent angle. Sometimes they're useful for wedging things. Okay, so there it is. I have four legs, 30 degrees. Now I just got to cut off the tops. I went ahead and put it onto the body and just visually looked at it um, and then drew a line just to make sure I get the first one. I get the uh, the angle cut in the right the right direction. <laughs> So 
also again, going to line it up. So with that cut I can see that each angle is opposite with each other, so it makes like a leaning piece. So I'll do that with each one. So what I'm going to do is the first one that I have cut, I'm going to go ahead and use it as a template for the rest of them. That way there, with it drawn on, I don't have to worry about accidentally uh, cutting it the wrong direction. They're all, none of them are off by more than a sixteenth of an inch. I'm fine with that. Again, it's a rough project. So here, I, measured it, I line it up to the bottom corner and slide it up and flush it to the top. And I'm pretty, it's pretty damn on. Pretty good. I got two inch screws to make sure I go through this entire board and into the next. I'm going to use a few extra screws because this is the leg. Okay, one on each corner and I'll put one in the middle. Make sure the legs all match up, go in the right direction, and align to the top. Okay, so where I'm going to put the seat, I'm going to put the seat right here, in here. So what I'm going to do is the seat's kind of this concept, I'm going to slide this in, the seat will be attached to this and I can sit on that. 
Uh, so, what I want to be able to do is slide that in. I need to make a tenon. So, I'm going to put this in here. As, uh, this is going to be my block that's going to fit this. And this one, because it fits a little bit tighter, I'm going to use it as the actual seat piece. I'm going to slide that right up against the other piece that I put in up here. And now I have exactly where I'm going to want this. And what I will do first is draw a line here, cut this piece to size, screw it in place, take this out, and make my seat. So go ahead and draw my line. I'm just going to run over to the miter. Slide it in. Up or I can sand this down a little bit if it's too tight, but I, I kind of like that. I don't want the seat coming out easy. So, there's how the seat will sit. The seat will go in here. Obviously, I can't sit on that. Okay, let's come together. So, with the seat there, this is where the actual shaving area is going to be the, the clamp. Mm -hmm. 